Jimmy, my bad. Oh. Here we go, finally, succulent duck. Finally, they put out duck after after several weeks of no duck. Um, the duck is out of luck, but not me. I'm in luck. Um, finally, Commodore Jeff Sambella, succulent duck. Also, Bishop Ryan, the exorcist bishop. I know, I remember you making duck that time. And you uh, were mentioning with duck and geese, it's a good idea to defrost it and let it dry out in the refrigerator for one week before roasting it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, succulent duck. Oh, a duck. I think it's been over a month since I have partaken. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful sight. It's going to be a marvelous surf and turf, I'll tell you that much. Oh. No hardcore sushi yet. They got all the, the sushi for sissies, namby pambies. Look at that. Oh, Mongolian barbecue is a little, not, no action, no action. What do we got here? Beef kebab, uh, the old bully balls. Everything is covered nicely. That looks like tilapia filet. What's this here? Beef kebab, beef kebab. Oh, Jesus. The, the steam caused it to, to literally almost slide onto the floor. I anticipate something bad happening because I had to grab that sucker, Commodore Jeff Zambello. But I'm, I'm going to get some of this. You just have to be careful not to get all that liquid all over my duck. Get some, some, uh, I guess they're little neck clams. They're not quoll hogs. There's some calamari and shrimp in there. At least one spoon with holes in it. I don't want to get seafood uh, broth all over my succulent duck, you know what I mean? Uh, get another cherry stone. Another cherry stone. Not to saturate my duck in clam water. Hey, look what just came out. Flounder filet with a shrimp in the middle. Bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. All right. You know what? Let's get some calamari in there. Oh, you did it good. I almost knocked it right off the dish. Because <laughs> of the steam, it went, it went sliding and I had to go reach lunge for it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, I think that's an ample plate. Let's see what we got here. Oh, couscous. Couscous. Oh, very nice. Teriyaki chicken. There you go. Roast chicken, hey, asparagus, cream spinach, asparagus. It's wonderful that it makes your urine stink to high heavens, but you know. Oh. As much as I see chicken, oh, look at that, they got some spring rolls on there. As much as I, as much as I see chicken everywhere, they have outstanding buffalo wings here at the. Uh, the Royal Hibachi Buffet on Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And oh, there goes the, there's the mangoes. Let me see, they got lemons over there? No, they got limes, limes. But my waitress was nice enough to bring me lemons. That's a aesthetically attractive cake. 
So is this orange colored cake. And we got some brownies. Yeah. This sort of looks like a German chocolate cake. What do you think? All right. Oh, here is the uh, special Turkish uh, baklava. Excellent, excellent. Cantaloupe, fresh pineapple. All right. Hey, there's the ice cream. Hard ice cream, there you go, hard ice cream. I don't see any 500 pound kids letting all the, the, the freezer, letting all the cold out. Not, not yet, at least. No little fatty buckle Chris Christie's. All right, here we got a nice surf and turf. Succulent rose duck, um, some mussels, some calamar, and uh, I guess uh, cherry stone clams. Cooked in a white bouillon base type of sauce. Okay, here I am at the Mongolian barbecue, all right? All right. I was going to get something different, but... I mean, I could get beef. I could get marinated chicken. And I'm gonna get Cameroon again. King Kong Cameroon. What do you think, Commodore Jeff Sambell and uh, Exorcist uh, Bishop Brian? What do you think? Is that enough? Is that enough shrimp on one plate? Eh, maybe. But then again, if I put more, it might fall off. Oh, I love cabbage. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do something because I'm gonna have a problem. I know it. I know it. I'm going to have to put put the fish or meat on one plate. I'm going to use my head this time. Then put the veggies on a second plate. Knowing how much I usually select for the Mongolian barbecue. All right. Um, yeah, definitely I gotta put onions on that, right? I love it. Love cabbage. Very high in nutritional value. Very high. The whole cabbage family is really the best. Look at that. Onion, as Justin Wilson used to say from, from the, the Cajun cook. Onions. Remember him? guy with the red suspenders and when he laughed his belly used to shake yeah I don't know what do you think some broccoli yeah a little more onion all right you know what you know what I think I'm gonna have a I think I'm gonna have a problem what do you think people you think I'm gonna have a problem you think I'm gonna have a problem? I think so. Here I thought I was I was solving a problem, and it turns out that I really was not. Now I have no room for the uh, rice noodles. Okay, but this is all right. Um, hmm, what am I gonna do now? You know what? I'll I'll come back for maybe rice noodles with beef or maybe rice noodles with beef and marinated chicken okay this is what I'm gonna do this is what I'm gonna do I have decided this is what I'm gonna give the man there's the vegetables broccoli onions and lots of cabbage and here is lots of clean shrimp, Camarones. All right, now, number one, number two. All together, right? Yeah, because otherwise I'm gonna drop it on the yeah. floor. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of garlic, a muy picante, and uh, a little sesame, dark sesame oil. All right, here we go. Now you're gonna see the king. The king. Oh, look at those, look at those vapors of life. Commodore Jeff Zambella, look at that, beautiful. The king of all Mongolian barbecues. Look at, look at that. This is a wonderful work of art. Cabbage, onions, broccoli, shrimp, hot and spicy with lots of garlic and some dark sesame oil. Unfortunately, the sesame oil is all the way over there by the sushi guy. Now this guy's gotta go all the way over here about walk for about 20 seconds or 10 seconds grab the sesame oil and then he's got to come back over here that's all right this guy is the best mongolian barbecue chef in the world look at that look at that the best of the bestest which is no asbestos. All right, we picante, the garlic. Oh my God, now we got the dark sesame oil from Japan. There we go, the best. Adoya, something like that. Adoya, what the hell? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that looks like, <laughs> It's like a, like a, like a little chori, uh, artificial chorizo coming out. A little finger. <laughs> He's gonna put some, some of that on there. Oh, here we go. We get another Mongolian barbecue order here. Got another one. Of course, mine is like. Mine is unbelievable there. Look at that. All right. So he's, he's now doing two orders simultaneously. Mine being on the right hand side. Mine is on the right, of course. Beautiful, beautiful. The cabbage is very healthy vegetable, very high in nutrition. And you got broccoli and you got onions and you got shrimp, camarones, right? Um, well, don't forget the sesame. Yeah, sesame oil. Is there any left? Or no more? Oh, okay, there we go. Nice dark sesame oil from Japan, Kadoya. All right, beautiful. And a beautiful, wonderful smell, too. Look at that, the vapors of life. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, beautiful. good for marinade when you're marinating yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Like, 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 sweet. like like sweet. an hour or overnight you're gonna ma yeah you're gonna marinate yeah it's sweet there's the sugar in it uh, ginger sugar soy sauce condensing nicely which is shrinking into a culinary 
delight, a very tasty culinary delight, especially with that dark Japanese sesame oil, lots of hot pepper, and muy picante, and a lot of garlic. Put a lot of garlic, right? Yeah. Good, good, very good. All right, and then we got another one. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna be cooking, he's gonna be cooking three now. Wow. This guy's guy better than those, uh, than the ben Benihana of Tokyo, you know, the Japanese steakhouse where they do the acrobatics, flipping things around and, and you got to share your food with other people that you don't even know, strangers, you know, and you don't even get that much food for the money. Yeah, he's flipping like, like the Benihana. Yeah, those places, they don't give you much food. The uh, Japanese steakhouse, you know, the guy is throwing the knife and the, the spatula oh, yeah. up in the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you got to sit with people you don't know. Everybody, you know, everybody gets like a little bit. Not like mine, forget it. Oh, Commodore Jeff Sambello, I'm telling you. All right. Well, waiting for mine. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, spice it up. Get that hot pepper in there. Beautiful sight. Nice and hot and spicy. Like the, the food from Sichuan province, uh, Chengdu. The city of Chengdu. The only difference is I got, I think, extra dark um, sesame oil, and of course, I got good soy sauce there. Beautiful. Look at that. It's going right on the dish. Uh, ha, 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 ha. What a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight. Uh, yeah. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Bye bye. Thank you. Look at that. It's working on others. Look at that. I'm going to go to my seat and I'm going to eat this. Look at that. This is truly a, a work of art in any buffet. Here we got uh, yellow, um, yellow crook neck squash with zucchini. I call it squish squash. There's the eggplant. All right. Anything new over here? No, not really. I can smell the sesame oil. It's fantastic. Beautiful. What a beautiful sight. Look at that. Look at that. Here we have Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Look at that. Okay, Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Um, we're going to gonna have some sushi uh, I love this though I love this white tuna sashimi right right get some regular tuna some regular tuna there right some some raw salmon White tuna, I'm assuming bluefin tuna and raw salmon. I don't see any unagi. I like unagi, but I don't see any. Raw octopus and squid is a little chewy. The shrimp is all right, though. I'm not sure what that is. Oh. It's like it's someone's birthday. You know what? Let me take one more. One more white tuna. Um, some wasabi and some soy got sriracha sauce here we got there's no unagi so uh, 
can't use the, where is it? You, the unagi sauce. There's no unagi, so I have to use soy. in there and mix it up. Okay. Okay, so oh, you have a nice picturesque is my limes for my nice refreshing lime water. And there we go, white tuna, bluefin tuna, some salmon. And now I'm going to, I'm going to mix the wasabi in here. Mix it up and then use this. Okay, I'm trying to decide. There's two kind of baklavas here. The Turkish one and the standard one. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one of these. Right, you know, I have this tray leche, by the way. Spanish uh, uh, tray leche cake. But I eat that all the time. So. Look at that chocolate cake, man. It's pretty good. You know what I'm gonna do? All right, one bottle, one regular bottle, bottle box, and let's see what I'm gonna do here. And one chocolate cake, but not too much icing because uh, I don't like sweets. But then again, why am I eating this, right? Okay, there we go. Two chocolate cakes and a block of butter. All right, all right, you jabronis. What do you think, Commodore Jeff Zambello? And um, superstar from the Travel Channel, uh, the Exorcist Bishop Brian. What do you think? Baklava and dark chocolate cake. But this this other baklava is interesting. The, on, the owner uh, said it's it's a Turkish um, uh, style. It's it's a different style, but it's very good though. Now, now we have ice cream. Ice cream. If I had to start an ice cream company, I would have an Eskimo screaming and call it the Ice Cream Ice Cream Company. It's an utter delight. All right. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. Okay, isn't that good? Look at that. All right, look at that. Not bad. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.